Good evening. Uh, to continue on with my 1917 Steinway Model O action restoration, uh, where I left off yesterday, I had installed all of the hammer shanks and flanges, traveled them all, meaning I have them coming straight up with no right or left motion. So that's all set. Now today I have, it's called hanging, hung the hammers, just gluing the hammers on. And you can see this is a jig here by Spurlock, again Spurlock Specialty Tools. Very great jig as they need to be at, um, I like to do the work at, let's see. 90 degrees here, I'm right at 90 degrees, so you're good right there, okay, and they're all glued using hot glue that I make up here. This is my little crock pot with my hot glue, you see down inside, so we keep that stirred up and we like to do it between 140 and 160, generally about 150 degrees when I apply it. So, I've done the top two sections of the piano today. And we want to see a very straight line. That's where this jig comes in great for both the lower. See if I can get it. There's a lower part of your hammer right there. It needs to sit flat on that tray with this this white part is adjustable so the thickest part of the hammer is going to go all the way down so what we want to end up with is very straight hammer line it almost looks like one hammer all the way down okay and so far we're looking real good and then i will continue on with that this evening and tomorrow and then I left a few of these. Let's see if I got my camera. There we go. So these are the very top hammers, and you'll see the end of the shank is still out. So this is the way it is when we first glue them on. And then I will be trimming these all flush. So these these won't be there on all of the hammers. So it's just the end end of the shanks there. That'll all be trimmed flush. Okay, and also then sitting overnight, I have weight on the keys. I've also done my first leveling of the keys, which will be rechecked after settling. Almost always takes a little more. Plus to dip these green punchings in the cardboard felts underneath to determine the correct dip. I want them to go exactly the same. Okay, that will take touching up too. This is just a rough first time. This usually takes two to three times on most of these things to get it exact and settled. And there we go for today. I hope everybody's had a great day and uh, thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.